in that situation. I'm sure that's a little different wrinkle than Elton Gentry wasn't ready for, and the easy pass to Shaq. Could be a field day here for Shaquille Weiss. Knocks down the three. Downtown to give the Magic a 7-5 lead. Here is Rice. Yes. Glenn Rice off to the fast start. The back tap from Sally. Fast break opportunity for the Heat. Rice for three. Yes. Oh, Glenn Rice on fire. Nick Anderson. Are he really happy with the job Khalid Reeves has done since he has gotten the chance to start with Bimbo Coles. A 17 lead on Orlando. Here is Rice of the court. The defense has really deteriorated a lot of that because the double team defense becomes a cop out defense. It's, oh, I'm going to double team, and I, that's not my man. And somebody didn't rotate, and somebody didn't pick up. I to the Heat this afternoon by getting into the lane and not getting three seconds called off. Rice for three. of six mentality as a senior he averaged under three assists per game rice again brained left wrist and a dislocated finger well how it has some, had some bright moments he was getting a starting situation with billy Owens the hurt well glenn Rowe and white this is z-deck down low against oh. contact contact got a piece of it that's a three to open scoring from Glenn Rice. To be back now till at least after the first of the year. Until then, Orlando has scored six straight. As a smart basketball player. Knows the fundamentals well. He was right where he should have been. Glenn Rice right where he should be. Houston, Orlando, and Charlotte at 19. The steal, Rice. Yes, it's a move, a good backdoor move. Now keep an eye on this now. There's your steal. It's nice that when you make the steal that you can reward yourself. <laughs> Robert Parrish, by the way, on the floor to begin this half at center for Charlotte. Glenn Rice off. Seattle in the lead. Here's Peyton and it's stolen by Goldwire. Good move by Goldie. Here comes Charlotte. Three on three break. Pull up by Rice is good. And they trail by two. Hornets by two, 31-29. There's the cut. Scott Burrell kicks to Rice for two. Coming off the floor. Snow, second year man out of Michigan State. Posting up on Stewart is Rice and Rice scores. Six points for Glenn Rice from the front court. Here comes Glenn Rice for three. Yep. Glenn Rice is on. Hope to see him back. Smith at the top and goes to Curry. Curry to Rice, rising for three. Maloney. But Mark Osowski said he wasn't surprised at the performance of Matt Maloney. Here's the shot from Glenn Rice, and Rice just picks up where he left off in well, the last 11 games. Readily that he does face in the basket, but if his jump shot will be on, then Kevin Willis may have to rethink his defense. 6-3 Charlotte, ball knocked out, Muggsy recovers, gets it quickly to Rice. Rice over Olajuwon for two, and the Hornets are up. Last score of eight, Olajuwon. And Olajuwon's shot is boarded by Mace. Hornets break out, they got a three on two if Muggsy joins. Here's Rice for three, yes! Great play. Glenn Rice pulling up. Shot. I, I'm hot. Don't take me out. <laughs> You're the only one who can stop me. Here's Rice for three. Zedek. Elijah one now. Here's Zedek on the fast break. But Rice converts at the other end. In a lot of the second half. Ace loses the ball. Rice at the top. Eight on the shot clock. Rice rises and hits. Glenn Rice. 30. Pointed to whatever price had ever saved that ball. Muggsy couldn't get there. Curry gets it to Rice. Rice doesn't believe he's that wide open and hits. Ball down the middle. MD, where are you going? Throws up a prayer, not answered. Rebound, Blotty. Blotty gives the ball out to Mason. It's a four on two break. Mason over here to uh, Rice. Drives underneath for the reverse layup. It's good. Nice play. And the Lakers really. David gives it out above the three point line to Blotty. In low, the bounce pass goes over to Rice. Rice holds it against Fox, drives on Fox, comes in deep and throws it up and in easily on Fox. It's Corey Blunt, sets him up, throws it up and missed it. The rebound is off the Blotty. He got another one. That's nine rebounds. Great play. Rice for three. Great play yet. Tiger holding it up against uh, Blunt, backing in. His hair won't bother him. He holds it up. Brings it cross court. Rice, he might do some damage from there. He hits a three-pointer. Monday night in uh, Houston. Ball goes in low.
turning and shooting his right, making a 15-footer. Nice play. We're still tied. Four minutes to play in the first half. Here comes Mason. Mason goes in low. He's double teamed. He's in a little bit of trouble and bounces out to right. That'll get you out of trouble, maybe. Four of their last five. Tough matchup for Spree while Glenn Rice is so tall at 6'8 and so long. Stayed with it. Outfit defensively this year, Jim, but night to night, they can be very inconsistent on that in the floor and direct free well one direction and then get some help because it's impossible to stop him when he's coming at you like that. No. Spencer is not nearly as mobile as he was in the first half. He can hardly put any weight on that foot. Right of playing game one of a five-game, eight-day road trip. A nice play. Watch Divas to go to the top on the perimeter because Felton cannot cover down low and come back out again. He just doesn't have that mobility right now. They gotta get some. For a round, out in front gives it off to Kobe. In playing a low post near the corner of the key, we got the ball to Rice. He pivots, he's away from Billups. He's underneath score. Boy, I think has to have a bounce. Didn't get it. Rebounder Shaq. Up to midcourt. That's the way to get the ball out. And he gives it to Kobe. Kobe underneath the basket to Rice. Good play. That's over to Kobe. Kobe backing in on Billups. Back out to Harper, they give the right. He's behind the line, he gets a three. Quarter, 14 in the 24. Ryan turns the corner, comes in deep, looks for his second basket, no. Feeds it to Fisher, out of front to Rice, and shoots again, hits another three. Not much anymore. Fisher's got the ball, he's down the middle. Penetration's good, he's over to Rice, 20 footer by Glenn, that's good. He's got 18 points. Lakers porque la temporada regular consiguió más ventaja en los emparejamientos entre ambos equipos. Pues el primer ataque correspondió a Los Ángeles Lakers, no falló, pero finalmente el rebote ofensivo fue a las manos de Glenn Rice, asistiendo a Sack. Cerrando bien el rebote, el 11 de los Lakers. Brian jugando para Glenn Rice, que viene de, de salido de 6, 10 a 4. Glenn Rice a punto de perder la presión asfixiante de Scott y Pippen. Qué bien se ha ido en el reverso, Glenn. Es cierto. Fue el MVP de esta temporada 98-99. Y estuvo acompañado en el primer equipo, que no saben. Rice, como lo atrapó ahí, parecía un jugador de béisbol. Se la echa por detrás, le cierra perfectamente Matt Bullard, busca huecos, se levanta y... Poco se puede comentar. Está la repetición del título de Glenn Rice, movió la pelota perfectamente. El conjunto de Los Ángeles, para acabar dejando totalmente solo a Rice. Y esta es la última canasta, en la que mareó, hizo volar a Matt Bullard. Para conseguir los dos últimos puntos de New York Knicks, tercera ronda, cuando eso sí había 10 rondas de draft. Vale, vale. 40. 40 puntos en el último partido y lleva ya 13. Y buscándole, buscándole los Lakers. Saben que está con la. Saquil O'Neill aguantó perfectamente ahora, saca Attack. Últimos dos segundos. Falta personal en ataque. Ha dado buenos movimientos y, y buenos pases. Con lo cual ahí se erige. Se erige. Primera mitad, 39 a 44, 5 puntos arriba. Los Ángeles Lakers que han realizado un segundo cuarto realmente fantástico.